A little after midnight last night, following 14 hours during which Parliament benches were half empty for two-thirds of the time, MPs concluded a marathon debate on the proposed state budget for 2017. Revenues are planned at 121.5 billion kuna, while expenditures will be 7 billion more. The government considers the budget to be an important step in achieving social solidarity while also strengthening fiscal stability and sustainability. At the same time, the opposition considers the budget to be unrealistic and pumped up. Voting on amendments and the budget itself will take place next week because according to parliament regulations, voting on the budget may only take place once three days have passed following the debate. Following two rounds of presidential elections and choosing a new presidency last Saturday, the Social Democratic Party are constituting their main committee today. 103 new members will be choosing a president and vice president of the party's highest body, as well as a new party secretary. Addressing party members, Social Democratic Party leader Davor Bernardic said that the party is beginning a new era of social democracy in Croatia. He said that their goal is to fight for a good society where inequalities between people are decreased and in which all people have equal opportunities. In conjunction with the month of the fight against addictions, a race up the 490 steps of the Zagrebchanka building was held yesterday. Inspired by the best known such race up the stairs of the Empire State Building in New York. During the race, which was organized by the Volunteer Fire Department from Sesvetsky Krajevets, 118 male and female firefighters ran to the top of the building. All funds raised will go to the Croatian Leukemia and Lymphoma Association. The eastern Croatian city of Osijek has unexpectedly received a tourist promotion thanks to British Prince Charles and his wife Camilla. Namely, the couple chose a photograph from their visit to Osijek, where they can be seen in the company of members of the Osijek 1862 Folklore Group as the photograph for their Christmas and New Year card. Marking the 950th anniversary of King Kreshimir's city Šibenik, photographer Šimis Trikuman took one of his popular millennium photographs. Šibenik citizens, young and old, gathered at the waterfront to pose for the photo, this time receiving instructions from a helicopter. In the Croatian Football League's 19th round of play, Hajduk defeated Cibalia in Vinkovci yesterday by a score of 2-1 in a match that saw four red cards and the visitors come back after going down 1-0. In yesterday's other match, Osijek defeated Istra 1961 in Pula by a score of 3-1. Today, Dinamo faces Lokomotiva and Split plays host to Rijeka. After 16 years, PPD Zagreb defeated Europe's second-best team Vesprem from Hungary last night in the 14th round of the Southeast European Handball League. The Zagreb team won by a score of 27-23 and now sits in third place in the standings. This afternoon's weather forecast calls for mainly sunny skies in the interior and partly sunny skies on the coast. Low cloud coverage and fog are possible in places on the coast with a chance of light rain, mainly near the end of the day. The coast will see moderate easterly and northeasterly winds in places, while a bora wind is expected near the end of the day. Seas will mainly be calm to smooth with visibility reduced in places due to fog. Highs for the day will range between 6 and 11 degrees in the interior and between 10 and 16 on the coast. Cloud development is expected in most regions tonight, resulting in slightly warmer temperatures tomorrow. On Monday, light rain is possible with a chance of snow in mountainous areas, along with a northerly wind. Sunny again as of Tuesday, but with fog and lower temperatures. Overcast on the coast tomorrow with rain in places, mainly in Dalmatia. A boral wind will blow that could be strong in places on Tuesday, slightly lowering temperatures. As of Tuesday, sunny skies are expected with no precipitation. Thank <music> you.